Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4, and today we're going to be going back into heaven, or as close to heaven as you're ever going to get in Persona 4. I think the place is actually called heaven. So I guess it's really not too far off the mark now, is it? But yes, today we're going to be going as far as our one mana bar, our SP bar, I'm sorry, can carry me. As usual, I don't like to go and refill my SP bar and then go back in there. It just takes way too long. It takes about an hour to lose an SP bar for me anyway, so it works out just the same. Alright, let's get going. Well, that was that one shadow thing that loves casting Mudo on. Simple Hama on just takes it out. It's one reason I love having Naoto here. Naoto can really earn her keep here that with her insta-death skills that some enemies are weak to that you like to use insta-death themselves. Nana-chan's voice! Mom, where are you? Why did you disappear? Why did you leave me? No! Come back! Are these Nanako-chan's feelings? But I'm not lonely. I have Dad with me. I know he's always late coming home. And he never plays with me because he's so busy. He can't cook or do laundry either. He tries to be nice, though he is a little scary sometimes. But I love him. Big Bro is with me now too. So I'm not alone. I'm not lonely. Little kid. Telling herself she's not lonely so she doesn't fall apart. You idiot, we'll ruin everything if we act all sad. We gotta greet her with a smile. Nana-chan. What's the matter? Something's not right. There's someone here besides Nanako-chan. It was faint at first, so I couldn't tell for sure. But there's definitely another person here. And whoever this is, their power's getting stronger. Could it be Namatame? Did he duck in here after being cornered like Mitsuo? Perhaps so. It seemed as if he was particularly determined to kidnap Nanako-chan. But why? If he's the real culprit, he must know the dangers of coming into this world. I don't know. But if it is him, he may have entered from a TV near the site of the accident, perhaps even the TV in his truck. Which means Nanako-chan may be in grave danger. We must hurry. Another thing you may actually want to do is bring a persona that is immune to shadow and light, meaning Mudoon and Hamaon. Mainly because there are quite a few things in here that love casting it and you do not want to be ambushed and instant death. At the best case scenario, you waste everybody else's, you know, saving you. At the worst, you die. We enemies! We have the initiative! I don't remember if we've seen this group before. We've obviously seen the enemy, but I don't remember if we've seen this group before, so I might as well show you how I deal with it, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna do this AoE, I guess. Three of them! Don't give up now, okay? And I didn't really want a persona that was not strong against physical, that's why I have Nico out. Let's go! Oh yeah, we're gonna mega dole in these things. I couldn't do it! Yeah, thinking about it, I'm pretty sure I didn't really need the mind charge for that. Oh well. Now you know why Nato runs out of SP so quickly in my uh, my runs. Soda. Two enemies down. Well done. Keep going, senpai. Enemy down. Nice. 
nice move. Our moment has arrived. Let's go. Okay, understood. Let's end this. Right. Well, that wasn't really that bad. Normally, if you don't nuke them down, those are things you do not want to get ambushed by because they can hit upwards of like 200 a swing, which isn't really a ton, but, oh great, which isn't really a ton, but, you know, when they get six attacks to your none, that can really kind of hurt. Alright, well, I guess I'll go. This doesn't really look like it serves any purpose other than an incredibly frustrating fight, so let's go in here. Alright, well, I guess I should probably see if it's weak to... Okay, well, I guess that was a wasted turn. Come on, this fight's not over. I was going to say if it counters physical, but... The world may never know. Well, I need something that's going to reflect or... Yeah, there we go, Leelith. Actually, thinking about it... I don't know if Leelith was the best choice because they might absorb lightning. Whoops. I guess we'll see here in a minute. If they decide to hit me anyway. I hate it when I'm right about things like that. Okay, I'm gonna put Scotty back out just because I want Scotty to get more. I call her Scotty. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I want her to get more XP so she can eventually learn more maneuvers. She's actually my one of my in game characters. I'm pretty sure. Or am I having flashbacks to Persona 3? I don't really remember. Persona! Well, we all saw this coming. Keep it up. Oh, great. This again. Well, I could skip this, but I guess I'll show you how to do a one-by-one one this time for those who prefer a more deliberate approach. It's a little bit... Actually, I just want to check to see if they're weak to... I just want to see if I can cast Hama Onomudo, and I haven't tried that yet, I don't think. Well, I suppose that uh, that simplifies matters a little bit. Take Couldn't quite beat it. Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. I might as well keep up the single target DPS while I'm here. It's over. There. I can't defeat it. These things have a lot of health. Well, maybe not a lot of health, but they have more health than your average thing. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Uh... Yeah. One of the few times that I'll actually use a physical attack, but that just kind of made sense there. Elimination complete! Right, well, I guess we all learned My a lesson there. They're not weak to anything, so just throw as much damage as you can, as fast as you can, whatever that may be. And since this is uh, the later half of the game, I'm going to start using magic more and more and try and wean off physical attacks. Physical attacks are great early game. Mid game, they're still pretty good. Late game, they can still be good, but yeah, it's a bit riskier with all the... You know, heavy damage is going to be thrown around, and I don't like really risking late game. They do awesome damage, though. You got to give them that, even the late game. And they can, you know, crit things and obviously knock them down. So I guess it's really just a higher risk, but same reward. Yeah, more repeat enemies, and I... What the hell was that thing? That's like the enemy I just killed in Dark Souls 2 the other day. I've never seen that thing in Persona 4 before, or if I have, I sure don't remember the thing. It's downright awful, but I don't remember it. Maybe that's why I don't remember it. 
<laughs> it reminds me of things in Brightstone Cove on in Dark Souls 2. Alright, well, I don't really need that, because, well, I mean, I could get... No, I don't really want to get rid of Temperance, because I have a social link with that. So I guess I'm going to get rid of it. I don't really need it whatsoever. Emperor's already maxed. Not to mention, that just was not my kind of persona. It's fun finding stuff you don't remember finding yeah, before. It's still, it instills a sense of wonder, really. Have I gotten a little stronger? It's like, I don't think I've ever saw this before, but I probably have. But it's still nice. Okay, I would like to get rid of Rakarm. Because, well, there's no sense keeping it once you get some more Rakarm, so, yeah. Now, as long as Yukiko doesn't die, and I don't die, that kind of took away a lot of its utility. But if someone besides me or Yukiko dies, now we can res them. The full health. Actually, I guess now we have two people that can res the full health, because I think Kikurahime could do that as well. Anyway, what was that? I would imagine that's for poison. Yeah, poison. Not really that great this late in the game, but I can maybe think of a use or two for it. Not something I'd wear for the final boss, but, uh... Oh, here we go. Be careful! There's an enemy immune to fire! Well, we're getting a bunch of new enemies today, aren't we? Well, I... Uh, that one's totally weak! I'm guessing that thing's weak to Hama. Don't give up now, okay? I'm saying that just because of its color. That's probably some kind of discriminatory remark, but I mean, seriously, it's a very dark dice. I'm pretty sure it's probably weak to Hama. <laughs> and uh, I'd really rather not get toasted, so yes, we'll do this just as a... Just as a safety measure, you know? Soda. Well, that was a, a fruitful endeavor all in all, I must say. Oh, yours. Right, well, at least I was right on that account. That's if I was going to be right of any of them. I'm glad it was that enemy. Last resorts really hurt later in the game. Seriously, they could probably like one shot me right now. A last resort. Did not want that. Just quite beat it. it. Come on, this fight's not over. Are these things weak to anything? They might be. Uh, I guess I should probably no. I don't really feel like healing. Just smag it. I couldn't do it. I don't care if it didn't make sense. Enemy defeated. Don't stop now, Natokun. That's not to say I won't use physical attacks with other characters. Just not me. Unless it's an extraordinary circumstance. Or at least unless I'm sure that there's a healer that's right after me so they can put me back to full health. Then I don't mind it, but... You know, getting off of physical attacks and their pluses and minuses and late game. Let's keep exploring a bit here. I think the only... Uh, yeah, I might as well go south. I was gonna say it's either south or north, but apparently north has a treasure chest. So that pretty much dictates which way we're going. You can't just leave a treasure chest unattended in a dungeon. It's just... It's just not responsible as a gamer to do that, you know? More repeats, yay. Anyway, I'm going to, I, as usual, spare you guys from all the tedium of the same things over and over because I care about you, the viewer. Holy shit. I'm sorry, but holy crap. I don't think I've ever saw that before. A divine cloak, uh, great, well. Physical evade or plus five to all stats. I don't know, I, I mean, the, Paladin armor only has the one in evasion, but I mean, 26 is a lot better. I might end up actually evading more just because of the innate evasion. I'm not sure how all that mechanics work, but I love that whole stats thing, so I'm gonna give that a shot. And I was gonna say, Naoto can't wear this, can she? The reason I thought, well, maybe Naoto can is because I never really paid attention. Does Naoto wear boys' or girls' clothes? You know, she wears 
boys' clothes during the day, I thought, eh, I, might, I never paid much attention. Maybe you could put men's clothes on her in battle, too. Depending on your point of view, sadly or thankfully, depending. No, you cannot. It appears. Unless I miss something. You chose an interesting way to express yourself if you wanted to live peacefully by throwing people into a death pit, but okay, sure. I think we pretty much all figured out who the men's voice is, or man's voice, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure it's Namatame. At least I'd pride bet good money on that. Be careful. That one's totally weak. Better not lose. Okay, I think that thing's a buffer, and you don't want to let that thing, you know, have free run here. You have two options, either rush those Mudo own things down. Speaking of which, I'm going to put on my Nico Shogun so I don't get instantly killed here. You either can, you know, take out those two things or hurry and rush and kill that thing and then maybe deal with Mudo on. Nico Shogun! Enemy down. Nice You're doing well! I guess a lucky guess is always good too. But I was going to say, I think the rushing the other two things down are safer. Just because you don't have to deal with instant death, that whole shenanigans. Persona. Those are the kind of fights that it's really, really nice to have instant death light attacks. Normally, I don't carry a whole lot of instant death light attacks, so that is why I love having Naoto in the party. I occasionally carry, like, Throne, but, you know, I just don't like throwing out 15 SP just to try to kill something. If I'm gonna have someone waste 15 SP, it's not gonna be me. That's why I carry Naoto into battle. Well, not physically carry, but you, I mean, the point here remains, that's why I bring her into battle. I don't want to try and fight that. I don't want to try and engage that thing. Come on, kite back here. Come back here. Because, oh man, I might be in a bad situation here if this thing doesn't stop chasing me. Oh man. Oh, this is a, this is a bad, bad thing to be doing, luring it further into all. Oh, well, at least that's rare. It's not going to do that much. Now, that was kind of a stupid thing to do, really, when I didn't... I should have led it back the way... I guess there's only stairs the way I came, but... Okay, hopefully this thing didn't, doesn't go back behind the box. What's in here? I might have to actually stop opening rare chests, because I'm starting to get rather... I don't want to say low on treasure chests, but... Yes! A Soma! That increases my chances dramatically of living through the final boss fight. The more Somas I can acquire, the better the chances. Well, I mean, I could probably do it with only one Soma, but it's, it would require a lot of TDM and me throwing a whole hell of a lot of items around, and that's not really what I want to do. I'd rather just use a few Soma to get the whole thing done with. I mean, I love the final boss fight. It's a challenge as far as resource management goes, but... You know, not when you don't have the resources to manage it, that is a bit bad, you know. Alright, well, let's get going here. 